What's up guys, how you all doing? Adam here. And in this video, I've got something a little bit different. It's definitely not for everyone, but if you're enthusiastic about network speeds, then this is definitely a great product for you. Now, historically we've had 10 megabit, 100 megabit, and recently pretty much everywhere in terms of a local area network is one gigabit speed. And that can deliver about 100 to 120 megabytes per second in terms of data speeds. Now that's great for pretty much everything like internet and all of the other kind of basic situations where you may need some reasonable performance in terms of network. But if like me, you require extremely fast network attached storage speeds to something like I've got next to my computer, which is the QNAP TVS871, which actually supports Thunderbolt 2, but you can also use it over 10 gigabit or gigabit if you want to, then you're gonna need some fast networking. Now, like I said, gigabit speeds will support up to about 100 megabytes per second. But if you're looking to potentially use some kind of storage for things like 4K video editing or anything that's really, really intense in terms of network speeds, then you're gonna need 10 gigabit. Now, 10 gigabit on a PC or a Windows-based server is not a difficult thing to achieve. There's loads and loads of PCI-based network cards out there. But obviously, if you're using a Mac, then you're somewhat restricted in terms of the expansion ability of that particular laptop or even, for example, the Mac Pro or even the iMac. So if you want to achieve those 10 gigabit speeds with something like one of those products I just spoke about, you're gonna need this. Now this little beauty here, which looks huge considering it's essentially a network card in a box, is a 10 gigabit network adapter to Thunderbolt 2. But it's not just one, it's two. So this thing has actually got two 10 gigabit network adapters built into it, and it's also got two Thunderbolt 2 adapters. Now, because Thunderbolt 2 is 20 gigabits per second, that gives you the ability to run two 10 gigabit per second network cards over it, which is why Sonnet have done this particular box in the way that they have. You don't have to plug two into it. This is for a loop through system. So if you wanna then pass that on to another device that uses Thunderbolt, you don't have to use two ports on your Mac. You can simply daisy chain them together. Now it's powered by an external power supply. So you don't ever have to worry about the power supply inside this breaking. You can always replace that. And like I say, this thing is phenomenal because it enables any Thunderbolt 2 based Mac to have dual 10 gigabit network cards, which is absolutely phenomenal. Now I use this in combination with my Mac Pro. Sometimes if I wanna use my MacBook Pro and I wanna do some really fast uh, file copies or rendering or something like that, I plug this into it, connect this directly up to my 10 gigabit NAS, and I can achieve with this up to 1000 megabytes per second transfer speed, about 1200 actually, but give or take say 1000 megabytes per second. So a thousand megabit per second network translates into a hundred megabytes per second. Ten, uh, sorry, and then we've got uh, ten gigabit, ten thousand gigabits per second. That translates into about a thousand megabytes per second. Now a lot of the inbuilt SSDs on Macs, for example, that are PCI based, go right up to around that, possibly even beyond it or slightly below it. So if you want to utilize that to the maximum when you're doing copies between your network attached storage to your PC or your Mac based device, in order to achieve those 1000 megabytes per second, you're going to need to have 10 gigabit networking. I hope I've explained that as well as possible. This is an absolutely fantastic product uh, from Sonnet. It's very, very simple. Power supply in one end, Thunderbolt 2 in one end, dual 10 gigabit network adapters. And it's a really, really neat solution. And what I also like about it is it's portable. You haven't got to plug in a PCI card and leave it specifically attached to that one machine. This you can literally unplug and plug as and how you want to, and you can use it on a whole bunch of different machines. Anyway, guys, I'll leave links uh, down in the video description as to where you can check out more information about this or indeed purchase it. But thank you very much for watching and I will see you all in the next one. See ya.